Hey guys, it's Josh at Kenworth of Richfield. We just got in this W900L. The color on this is amazing. We're not gonna have any sun for the next five days and I wanted to show it to you guys anyways. So, here I am outside and holy sh is it cold. It is cold outside, but it's nice and warm in here. So I'm gonna start the tour inside of this 2020 W900 with an 86 inch studio sleeper. So if you are a fan of trucks, it's hard not to be a fan of the W900, especially the L. That big long hood sticking out, the dual air cleaners, all that just screams hot rod. This really is, it's the truck that you played with on your parents' floor and 164 scale size or whatever. This is the truck that we all grew up dreaming about driving. This one's in a really great color. It's called Midnight Blue. It's got a ton of metal flake to it, not too much, but it's this bluish purplish hue that looks really, really, really sharp, especially in the sunlight, which we don't have as much of today. So go ahead and bear with me on that one. So back inside, I'm actually gonna start from the back and work my way up, because why not, right? This one has the couch with the bunk above it. The couch is actually a really nice setup. It gives you a place to sit and relax and actually sit rather than feeling like you're hanging out in a college dorm room. It's one of the really nice things and it's why the 86 inch studio sleeper has been so popular over the years. Another thing that it has a ton of is storage. There's cabinets on either side. There's drawers down here. There's also giant wardrobe cabinets there and two really nice sized shelves up top. Tons and tons of storage in this truck. If you're gonna be on the road for a while, the 86 inch is the way to go. As you'll also notice here, this is the diamond button tuck VIT interior. It's quiet, it's well insulated, it's nice. This truck right now, I'm actually sitting in the shop. There's all sorts of air tools running outside, all sorts of commotion. You can't hear any. So as we move up front in this truck, there's a lot of great stuff here too. Leather wrapped smart wheel, just, it's a nice place to have your hands. It's nice to not have to move your hands off the wheel in order to operate the cruise control, the jakes or things of that nature. Full gauge package, this also has the nav plus system in it. Full rack of switches, there's even setups for auxiliary lights. There's switches for your dual locking differentials. They are separate on this, so that way if you just want to keep one unlocked so you're not sliding on the ice, that's there also. Once again, it's the VIT interior that carries right through up front here. That's just a super nice setup. On top of that, you got 18 speeds to work with. If you come up top here, we've even got a CB installed for you. So in all honesty, guys, I got cold before I had everything that I needed to say out. So we're gonna go over a couple of things back here in the studio. One of which is these trucks have the motorized and heated mirrors, both top and bottom are heated on this because it's cold. So this truck uses a Cummins X15 that puts out 565 horsepower and 1,850 foot-pounds of torque. So yes, this is the Performance Series engine. As I mentioned before, that all goes through an 18-speed transmission, and out back, you've got 355 rear-end gears. All that sits underneath an AG400 rear suspension. This is the eight-bag suspension. It's non-torque reactive, very smooth riding, goes down the road well and really does a great job of getting good traction for you. Alcoa Durabright wheels on every corner of this truck with 11R 24 and a half inch rubber. Front axles 13.2, front springs are 14.6, and the rear axles are meant to hold up 40,000 pounds. All of this sits on a 280 inch wheelbase. There's a toolbox on the side for you. And as I mentioned before, this is a really stunning midnight blue color. Being wintertime in Ohio, the odds of us getting a sunny day so I can actually show you how good this truck looks, well, those are slim to none. Take my word for it. This is a phenomenal color. Do me a favor, give me a call, come see this truck today in person. It's definitely worth a look. As always, do me a favor, make sure you subscribe. If you enjoyed this, hit the like. If there's something that you want to see, 
please put that in the comments below, or if you've got a question about this truck, let us know. As always, be safe out there, keep it rubber side down, and I will catch you on the flip side.